All right, coming up next, it's a flyweight matchup between Sergio Pettis and Juicy A. Formiga. All right, here he is, one of the best flyweights on the planet, Juicy A. Formiga. When he signed with the UFC, this was the consensus number one flyweight in the world, and he's competed with the elite every step of the way. Outstanding rear naked choke, one of the best back takers in the game, Joe. This is a man you don't want anywhere near your back in a mixed martial arts fight. This guy can keep a pace that very few human beings can match. His cardio is absolutely outstanding. So following in the footsteps of his brother, former UFC lightweight champion Anthony Showtime Pettis, here is one of the best flyweights in the world, Sergio Pettis. Comes in tonight riding a nice winning streak, Joe, and really a guy who much was expected of from the minute he stepped foot inside the octagon, and largely, Sergio has not disappointed. I think in a lot of respects, if anything, he's overachieved. This guy has excellent footwork. He's very difficult to catch and corner inside the octagon, and he's always in a position where he can strike and then get away from his opponent's counters. Our tail of the tape for this flyweight fight. The American is 24. The Brazilian is 32. Pettis is one inch taller. He will have a two inch reach advantage. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC flyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the corner. A jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record now. 21 wins, five losses. He stands five feet five inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of the top, Brazil, Juicy Formiga! And now, his opponent, fighting out of the right corner. This man is a Taekwondo fighter, only a professional record of 17 wins, three losses. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin, USA, Sergio Athena And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean draws the assignment here. Ready to fight. Ready. Dateline, Las Vegas, Nevada. No better place to be on fight night. We are underway here at the T-Mobile Arena. So here is the Rufus Sport kickboxing product, Sergio Pettis, as we start round one here. He has been a fast starter in the UFC, certainly as an amateur MMA fighter. He was a strong starter. We'll see if he can get that elusive first UFC finish here tonight. Immediately shoots for the leg. Yeah, look at that kick, man. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Slides him over, and nice reversal here. Again, they will clinch. Back up. Double underhooks in the clinch. And he transitions to his back. Excellent movement on the ground here, always trying to better his position. Posture's up. Oh, and he lands a brutal strike to the head. Back up to his feet. Formiga gets hit with a kick. Oh, another nice kick. Solid series of kicks here. Don't be afraid to check one of those, bro. That's a nice clean shot. Oh man, defensively leaving a lot to be desired there. He moved right into that hook. His head was wide open and there for the taking. Let's see if he can make some adjustments here moving forward. Well, he lists himself as an orthodox fighter, but he's going to southpaw here, Joe. Caught him in the punch. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. He got tagged there. He's got a beautiful leg kick. He's really doing a good job of controlling distance and getting off these shots. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Oh! Oh! He's in deep 
danger right now. Deep danger. Under three minutes now to go, and what a oh, oh, massive slam. slam! That'll change the complexion of this one. Pettis gets back up again. Just misses with the jab there. Nice kick to the body. Oh, that's a good strike there by Pettis. And the kick lands. Back to Orthodox. Nice jab to the head there by Pettis. He's timing that jab brilliantly. Oh, another damaging head kick lands Joe. And defensively, the opponent's got to start thinking about blocking some of these. I know he prides himself on his toughness and his chin. But the next one could knock him down and potentially out of this fight. Tagged him. Two minutes to go in the round. Formiga's lower jaw is extremely swollen now. Very nice knee. Another takedown attempt here. He's yeah, stunned. Looks like he's in on his feet. This could be it right here. Oh, very nice. Knee to the body. Good work with the knees here by an ever-improving Juicy A for me. Oh! oh and just oh, like that, out. the he's fight out. is over! Landed a huge kick for the knockout. Indeed, Joe, that was a tremendous kick to end the fight tonight. Caught the opponent flush with full force and extension. And frankly, there was no chance after that. The fight was over as soon as that one made contact. Certainly one for the highlight reel here tonight. Look at this. Crank right on the jaw. So there he is as the celebration continues. A huge knockout for him here tonight. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 27 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Sergio Rapino. So just the way he drew it up here tonight, what a monumental moment and knockout to get his hand raised here tonight. He kept the judges out of it. He has certainly set himself up for a major opportunity here moving forward. But you can be sure tonight is about this knockout. He'll be celebrating deep into the night with his friends, his family, his coaches. Congratulations on a big KO tonight.